game after game after game. And I've never played Final Fantasy XIV. Well, that's pretty much a lie. I played it for one day total, and then I stopped because I realized the grind life was not for me. <laughs> Welcome back gamers to another video. I'm still hung up on Final Fantasy 16. It left such a big hole in my heart. So I thought, hey, why not fill that hole with somebody else who looks exactly like Clive Rossfield? <laughs> they look so similar, right? Yeah, they, they freaking look the same. The character design is like on point the same. So I will be watching Final Fantasy XIV's cinematic launch trailers and I'll be giving my expert opinion on the plot of the game. Expert opinion. So what do I know about Final Fantasy XIV? Well, I know it is an MMORPG that came out a long, long time ago. Everybody around me was playing it and I was recovering from a decade of MMORPGs, which to me took over my life. So I was trying to like stray away from it a little bit. I remember never going to class. I also worked a part-time job just to fund my in-game purchases. Yeah, it was a, a very rough time in my life. And I will say, those were also the best days of my life. <laughs> Oh yeah, I also remember setting my alarm for 6 a.m. so I can do that double XP grind. <sighs> yeah, great days, great days. <laughs> okay, I digressed again. I don't even know if Final Fantasy XIV has a storyline. I suspect it does, but when I played MMORPGs, you picked a class, you did raids, you battled monsters. It was a very simple equation to the game. And I know that Final Fantasy XIV did a lot of collabs with various, various Square Enix games, such as Nier Automata. They did a Nier Automata integration, right? Right? <laughs> I think so. And Nier Automata is honestly one of my favorite games. It's definitely on the top 10 list. Okay, I'm, uh, digressing again, again. And it's probably because I don't know too much about Final Fantasy XIV at all. Are you surprised? Probably not. But I do know that they have multiple installments of the game, which is very normal for an online MMORPG. And they just released one recently. When I did play for that one day, my friend literally carried me on his mount from person to person, talking to everybody at the beginning of the game. And yeah, it just, it just did not float my boat. <laughs> I got bored really, really fast. And it brought back so many memories of grinding that I just, yeah, I, I left that part of me in the past. Also, if you watch some of my other videos, you know I have a love-hate relationship with Square Enix. So, I mean, grinding, Square Enix, definitely love-hate relationship going on there. And I'm old now, I can't grind anymore. I don't have the time to grind, you know? So what, I'm gonna be a noob in the game? Probably. <laughs> The last game I grinded in was Destiny 2, and honestly, I quit that too just because the grind was way too intense. All I did was wanted to grind for better gear, exotics, all these other things, and uh, yeah, could just never keep up. So you could say I am anti-grind now. But today will be the start of a Final Fantasy XIV video series where I'll be looking at all of the trailers. Today we're just gonna be looking at 1.0, which I think was the first one that was released. And to be honest, I didn't really hear great things about it. I think that's why they went through a revamp. Before we get into today's video, my name is Oli. Welcome to my channel. I've been playing video games all my life and I am a huge Final Fantasy fan. I'll kind of put myself on that category. I started with Final Fantasy VIII, moved down to Final Fantasy VII, skipped to Final Fantasy X, and then sort of started making my way up. But honestly, Final Fantasy XVI has really just hit it home for me. A lot of people said the ending was similar to that of Final Fantasy XV, which I stopped playing three quarters of the way in. I just did not like the game. But yeah, that's a, that's a me problem for sure. <laughs> Anyways, let's get started. Let's go. So I think Square Enix had re-released this trailer on their YouTube channel. I don't know why they re-released it. It was about a year ago, so I don't know. Maybe they're trying to revamp it somehow. I can only guess, right? Anyways, let's give it a watch. Hmm. Looks like there's crystals here. 
And it also, I think this is the beginning location of the game, from what I remember. Hmm. Are they playing cards? <laughs> intense battle going on. How long must we wait? I grow weary of the company. The feeling, my dear, is mutual. <gasps> Aha! What do we have here? No job is too daunting as long as the coin is good. Hmm. Are those maybe bounty cards or something? My father, too. Now quiet down and help me decide. Or are they picking their class? And why does that not surprise me? Choose as you will, Midlander. This beast Our is in a frenzy the likes I've never hands. seen. Look out! He's right on top of us! Move, Lass, move! What? Where is he going? <laughs> What a trip, you know. <laughs> oh, Marlboro. That thing reminds me of Kimari so much. Thing. That monster. Man. Even his weapon. Oh shit! What the? the? The thing did like one damage. <laughs> He's like that noob you carry on the team. That's so cool, if you can do that in-game. Oh. oh my god, he totally got smushed! There's no way he survived that. Psych. <laughs> Final Fantasy logic. That reminds me of the battle scene from Final Fantasy 16 when you fight the Marlboro at the beginning. Huh. That kind of reminds me of the Machina technology from Fallen Fantasy X. Oh, they have dragons too? Oh my god. Those must be mounts. guy waking up in different places all the time. Oh <gasps> no, not the dragon. Dragon got shot down. Ooh, is that Bahamut? Kinda looks like it. Hmm. Kinda looks like a flying leviathan, actually. Yeah. I didn't really see a body there. Hmm. 
but his moves look like Vomit. I wonder if that red ship is of the evil antagonists in the game. Oh, okay, it is Bahamut. He just has a really freaking long neck. <laughs> like a really long neck. Who's that? Oh! 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 Okay. I see what's going on. Oh my god. He was just tripping out. <laughs> so nice of you to join us again. Well, don't keep us in suspense. I thought those were bounty tiles, but this they one. might be quest we'll tiles. Ah, he speaks. Can we go now? Yo, after that, I would go after another cup of ale. <laughs> What started it all. All right, all right, okay. That was really cool. I enjoyed it. <laughs> My first time watching it, I enjoyed it. Let's start off with the world. So I remember when I played for that one long, long day, very long. That area where the trailer kind of started out, it looks like the main hub where everybody starts out. That dude with the white hair and the elf ears, he had this map that he laid on the table. So I'm assuming that's the map of the world where you can, you know, go around, killing stuff, traveling, meeting people. <laughs> and I also think crystals play a role in this game. I don't know what they do right now. I have two ideas. I mean, they could be save points. <laughs> as basic as that. Or maybe they're magic harvesting rocks, you know, similar to Final Fantasy 16. They harvest magic it kind of looked like that because they were glowing and floating and it looks like this game has a lot of races which very normal for an mmorpg you know craft your own character make them your own you know guys choosing girl characters that was a big thing back in the day all of those things so i think they bring all of that into this game and also i did see like the kimari looking type of dudes i saw elves i saw humans you know anybody you can pick anybody and you also have your typical classes. So I think I saw like a warrior out there. I saw, he was an archer, very weak archer, but he was an archer. And then I saw a mage, which I thought was the coolest, to be honest with you, like that mage was doing a lot. Oh, I think I also saw a healer, but nobody ever picks a healer. So, <laughs> but they were there, I promise they were there. If you could empower each other's attacks, like that little elf did with the main archer dude, that would be really cool. I would play just for that. And I'm not talking about stat buffs. I'm talking about actually like magical buffs onto, uh, no, sorry, buffs isn't the right word. Magical enchantments on your weapons and your attacks. I think that'd be really neat. Okay, I'm going to move on to the main protagonist of the game, which is you as a player. <laughs> I'm going to call him Young Clive because he looks like a Young Clive, in my opinion. I actually don't think he has a name because he's like technically supposed to be you as a player. He had this episode that made him glimpse into the future, which was very interesting. And that came from that little glass card he had on the table. I don't know if everybody has that ability, but it looked like the two people who were sitting with him at the table were very much waiting for him to get out of his trip. <laughs> Trip could mean so many different things. Out of his trip, you can interpret that however you wish. And when he returned from his trip, the elf dude said, welcome back from your reverend. I think that's what he said. So I'm going to take a guess 
and say you as a main character can technically look in the future. That's your skill. That's what makes you different. And your allies rely on you for that skill. I also thought that those glass cards, they could have been a few things. It could have been playing cards <laughs> like Final Fantasy VIII, or it could have been bounty cards. But I think after watching the whole trailer, they're almost like quests for higher cards. Because, you know, what's an MMORPG without the quest life? You know, that's what you thrive on, quest life. And the little elf said, no job is too daunting as long as the coin is good. That's how I feel in real life too. <laughs> so in my opinion, those cards ignite quests. You destroy the evilness within those quests. And some of those quests are probably baked into the storyline of the game. So what is the storyline of the game? This is my expert opinion on that. I'm going to say the storyline of the game. Well, you're battling some sort of evil foe in the game for sure. I think the evil foe is that red airship that appeared near the ending of the trailer, that big battle. I don't know if it's another region or another empire or whether it carries over a similar theme, that of Final Fantasy 16, where you have magic bearers versus normal humans with no skills at all, zero skills at all. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to have to watch a few more trailers to understand what that relationship is between the evil folk and the non-evil folk. I will say though that battle scene, when the airship fell, there were these projectiles of light that kind of shot everywhere. And I think I saw Ifrit in one of those projectiles that kind of like shot past the main dude. So I'm going to say maybe whatever event that was, it released some sort of power into the world. And I'm going to say those powers are summons right now because that's what it looked like to me. But what do I know? <laughs> but if they're not summons, they could technically be big bosses. I don't know. I don't know if you can actually summon in this game or whether summons are kind of this, I don't know, big boss thing that you go and kill and raid and, you know, get loot. <laughs> Typical MMORPG style. If you can actually summon summons, that might be a bit cheap in the game. But it's also Final Fantasy, so that's kind of the concept around summons. You can summon them into battle. I don't think I've played a Final Fantasy game where you couldn't summon or transform into some sort of summon. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure that one out as we go on. So yeah, something has been released into the world. So my final thoughts on the storyline, you're battling this big evil group. I'm not even gonna call them an organization. Something releases into the world that probably would be bad because you know, it's probably not good. <laughs> and your job as this dude with this foresight ability is to go support the takedown of that evil organization with your one damage arrow shots and destroy these summons or rein in the power of the summons. That's still TBD. You got to figure that out. All right. That wraps up my expert opinion on this trailer. Next time we're actually going to move into a realm reborn. That's the next installment of this game. Would I play this game? I'm probably going to pause that till a few more trailers in. <laughs> I've already tried playing this game and yeah, like I said, grinding is not for me. So stick around for Realm Reborn next time. I'm very much looking forward to it. I'm also curious about whether the direction of the game will change because I know 1.0 was a flop. So did they reimagine everything holistically? Did they change around the storyline completely? We'll figure that out in the upcoming trailers. If you're new here, consider leaving a like on this video or even a subscribe. It really helps me out on my channel. Also, if you're watching this video, you probably like other Final Fantasy content. So I'm going to go ahead and link some of my Final Fantasy videos here for you. I will see you in a new video soon. Have an amazing day, gamers.